when we're joyful, that joy spills out and helps other people feel it, you know? So it's, you're not just doing yourself a, a service of, of good and positive, you know, energy, but you're actually spreading it along the way. Welcome back to the Happiness and Progress podcast. I'm your host, Danielle Craig. I'm an Emmy award-winning journalist, a mom, wife, and you know what I like to say, just a person looking for more joy in the everyday. Before we get started, make sure to click that subscribe button. I really appreciate it when you do that. Now let's get to the good stuff. Today, you are going to be hearing from the creators of the joy cards, Lalamini De Silva and Michelle Burke. Michelle is a sought after leadership coach, facilitator, speaker, and founder and CEO of Energy Catalyst Group. Michelle has trained thousands of participants to make positive change, bridging communication gaps, getting in the way of a thriving workplace and a joy-filled life. Her clients include Stanford University, Microsoft, Sony PlayStation, Snap Inc., and HP. She's been featured in Business Week Magazine, Los Angeles Times, San Francisco Chronicle, and Wall Street Journal. Michelle is also the author of The Valuable Office Professional and co-author of 15-Minute Pause, a radical reboot for busy people. Lalamini De Silva has worked in media relations, TV production, and more. She also worked for London Zoo, BBC World, and has helped produce documentaries for Discovery, Animal Planet, and ITV. Her paintings illustrate joy cards. And together, they came together and they created these beautiful joy cards to help you find more joy in what I always say, your everyday. So today we're going to talk about finding joy gems, what a joy gem is and how to find those and how focusing on the joy can actually impact your life, lowering stress, helping you feel lighter. They are also going to draw a card from their joy cards. And you can do that today. We're also going to talk about taking joyful action and how spreading joy to those around you makes a difference. Let's get to it. Thank you guys so much for coming on the podcast today. Thank you for having us. We're very excited. We are going to just jump right into the basics. What are joy gems? Well, we we coined this phrase, uh, joy gems, to talk about what the simple pleasures in life are. Mm. You know, like to to name those little things that we often take for granted, or we even miss. You know, because we're so busy and we're going th- through life so fast or on automatic pilot, like, like I used to do. Uh, and, and it could be as something as simple as just enjoying your, if you're a coffee lover, like I am actually enjoying your coffee in the morning, instead of just drinking it as fast as you can, like I used to do just to get the caffeine jolt, you know, I was mm-hmm. missing out on the experience of really enjoying the coffee itself. And so that's a small example. Lalamini, I know you have another good one. Oh, there's so many joy gems, you know, every day you might, yeah, it's just, you don't sometimes notice because they're right in front of you. And I think you think it has to be a big event, but it doesn't. Um, I just love looking at little bees, you know, feeding on flowers, Mm. (laughs) something as simple as that, or just a a hot shower, actually. And it can just energize you, make you feel good and just being aware of it, really. Mm -hmm. And it's the little kindnesses, we also say, actually, not just the small pleasures, but the little kindnesses that you might miss. You know, somebody's just opens a door for you or I don't know, so many little things. We're going so fast in this life. And also we live in this world where it is like the bigger is better. And and you're like, okay, how do I get joy? Let's go to Disneyland. And you, you spend a couple thousand dollars so that you can experience joy when really it's every single moment in those really small moments. I love that. When did you guys realize that you and people as gen in general needed to start focusing in on those present moments of joy? We created the joy cards during the pandemic because we were both really struggling. I was recovering from COVID and Lalamni was caring for her parents Mm. when she was in New Zealand. And I think like most people, when we went into lockdown, it was really scary and it was Mm -hmm. anxiety. You know, the anxiety was up, stress was high and joy was not on the radar, (laughs) you know, and, and I think for most people. And so we were like, what can we do to like, get our joy back? We've got to, we got to turn this around because it was just so awful. And so we challenged each other, right? Lalamini to do one thing that brought us joy. 
And that's kind of what started us off. And Malami, what did you start doing? Well, I mean, it, it was just to make the tough times easier, really. I mean, that's what joy is about, isn't it? Those little snippets can just change your attitude, change your perspective and change your day, really. So just a simple thing, like for me, I get a lot of calm and joy from just walking outside and seeing nature. Or I started tinkling on the piano again, which I hadn't touched in a long while. So it's just simple things like that, you know, and it really did help um, with the stress levels and the anxiety that was you know, around me because I had sick parents and it just really helped. Well, I actually started walking my doggy and I hadn't been out um, because I would, I didn't have any energy after getting COVID and mm -hmm. just even taking a walk outside was like, wow. And appreciating just breathing in the fresh air, noticing the trees. I did a little game with myself when I was walking my dog to notice something new every single day on my walk. Mm. And so, um, and smelling roses. I love, I, I love the smelling of roses. And so I actually literally stop and smell the roses when I see them. And that it's, it is like Lalong was saying it, it makes you feel better. You end up having, all of a sudden you have a smile on your face, you know, that you didn't even realize that you weren't smiling, you know, until, oh, you know, so it brings that, like it, it lights you up again and, and it does energize you. Yes. I love that. And I love sometimes those, those things, they sound so cliche, stop and smell the roses, but it's because it mm -hmm. literally makes an impact. I love that. Yeah. So you guys are um, dealing with these hardships in COVID as we all were, and you guys mm -hmm. were not even close. No. Lamini, it sounds like you were in New Zealand and <laughs> yes. Michelle, where were you? I'm in California. Okay. And so you guys are <laughs> far apart and you're encouraging each other to find these little joy gems and how did I, yeah. first of all, I just want to recognize how great it is that you guys had each other yeah. being so far away. I just love that so much. We, we I know I mean, we've, we've had each other for yeah, a long time. each other for 20, 20 long years now. <laughs> um, we, uh, we met, um, when I was filming actually in, uh, Washington, uh, Seattle mm -hmm. and Michelle was actually a keynote speaker for Microsoft. Mm. at the time. So it's a really weird coincidental mix and match and, and, and just meet actually. And I just feel there was some sort of serendipity going on there. And since yeah. then, I mean, you know, Michelle, we've, we've worked across the oceans for years and years, thousands of hours across these various, the phone, the Skype, Google, haven't we, Michelle? Yeah. It's been, it's been a wild ride, but I think that's the thing that's also helped. Like you were just pointing out that having one person can make all the difference. You don't, we, you know, sometimes we think we need a thousand friends on Facebook or, you know, social media and we need all these likes and we need whatever. It just takes one person that you can connect with. And it doesn't, I mean, obviously we try to get together when we can, but we couldn't obviously during COVID um, and visit. But this made a huge impact being able to have this connection over Zoom and mm -hmm. and allowed us to remind ourselves that joy is available to us every single day if we choose it, even during the hardest and most difficult times. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of our big messages is to help people, to remind people of that, you know? And I, I love how you mentioned, sometimes we do think we need to have all these friends. I think also sometimes we think we need to have, you know, our bestie living down the street that we can go and run and talk to. And sometimes that's just not the case. And especially with COVID, even if that person was down the street, you couldn't go see them. So I just, right. I really yeah. just wanted to recognize how wonderful it was that you guys had each other, encouraged each other to find those mm -hmm. moments of joy. How Thank did, you. how did that turn into the joy cards? Well, it was, I mean, it was a process, obviously, yeah. you know, we, as, as we started realizing that these little things that we were doing were actually working, you know, they were, that our stress levels were starting to come down and our anxiety wasn't as, as high and, and that we were actually smiling and laughing more often, <laughs> you know, even with each other on the zoom, uh, that we thought, gosh, maybe we could, we could help others do this as well. And the other thing I want to, uh, and as we were doing that, I said to Lalamini, Lalamini is an artist. And I mean, like in the truest of, of ways. And I just want to share, if you don't mind, Danielle, 
of she's got paintings, original paintings on the back of all the cards. So the cards are gorgeous. I mean, I'm biased, but I I'll just share a few for the for her for our podcast friends to see some of these amazing paintings. So, yes. So if you will, we'll have this on YouTube and you can go see the video on YouTube. And then if you want to, as you're kind of flipping through them, kind of explain what's going on, even okay. Lalamini, that might be something you want to do as you talk about putting these paintings together. I don't know. For me, painting, um, I've, I've painted all my life, actually. It was something I did as a child. <laughs> so I never really thought of it as as anything special but i've looked back at it and i think it's sort of a gift actually you don't realize that you've been able to do this thing and i think a lot of people have gifts that they don't probably appreciate and um michelle you know over the years like another thing i mean she used to come over and then she'd find all these paintings under my bed or something hidden away i honestly thought i would like van gogh die with those paintings on top of me just <laughs> never mm. seeing the light of day and um here they are out in the world, which is an amazing thing. So it was wonderful, actually. Oh my goodness. They're absolutely beautiful. When yeah. you guys uh, look at the joy cards, what are, can you each share which one is your maybe favorite one or which one made the most impact with you? Michelle's already shaking her head. No, no, I love them I all. mean, well, it's so hard. <laughs> like it's hard to pick one. Like we obviously, you know, obviously I, I love a lot of them. I love all of them actually. But uh, I mean, one that resonates for me just because it's something I do a daily and it's personal to me, uh, is the gratitude mm. and, um, being grateful and really trying to start your day. I try to start my day and end my day with just finding even just one thing that I can be grateful for. And some days that that's difficult to do when I'm really stressed and really like mad or sad or whatever's going on in my life. There's been times when it's been really hard to find just even that one thing, but that has made a big difference in um, my stress level, you know, feeling better. And the other thing that we did, Danielle, with the cards is that we wanted to find what's the, what's the science, if you will, or what's the reason for why doing this activity, if you will, will help you and feel more joy, right? Like, cause joy is internal. And so we did a lot of research and some of these things came from my training programs that, that I knew had worked um, with participants over the years. And, and then other things we just created, we just were like talking it out and trying it out and seeing what happens. Well, Omni, what's one of your favorites? <laughs> exactly. And I mean, for example, um, dopamine is released when you, when you, you know, you're grateful and it's amazing how that particular happy hormone will circulate. The more you do, the more you'll have and the more you'll want. Mm -hmm. So that's the way it sort of works. And I, and the same with curiosity, you know, it releases um, endorphins and various other dopamines, happy hormones, and, and it just relieves, um, decreases the cortisol levels. So your stress levels are decreased, but your happiness levels are increased. So um, I love curious. I'm a very curious person generally anyway. So that card for me really has my heart because I always, if I want to do something, make my day sort of fun and it's some way different, I'll step out and I'll do something different, like go to a gallery or a different shop, <laughs> take another route to work. I don't know, any number of things just to make you know, the old habits, the old routines, just a little different. Mm -hmm. I love that. Thing. I love both of your examples. And I love the scientific information that all comes in the booklet with the cards, right? It does. Yeah. It comes in the booklet. In fact, Danielle, if you want, we can have you pick one of the cards now and then I yes. can read it. Let's do it. Do that. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do is uh, since you don't know what they are, I'm just going to, I'll point my finger, you know, like this, and you just okay. tell me when to stop and I'll pull out that. Okay, card. great. It'll be a, a great challenge too, for our listeners today. Okay. I'm ready. Stop. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. All righty. This one is called stretch it out. Mm. Interesting. Okay. Mm. So this says flex it, flex it. Good. Stretching, <laughs> stretching improves flexibility and posture. Reach for the stars or touch your toes. Will you make this a daily habit? And then I'm going to read. So each card has a number on it. So mm -hmm. if you're going to the YouTube, you'll be able to see that. And this one is card number 31. 
So this is what it says. So most of us know that stretching improves flexibility and posture. Many don't realize that stretching has many other health benefits, including injury prevention, increased nutrients, reduced soreness, calm mind, releasing tension and increased energy. Just a few minutes of stretching increases blood flow through your entire body. Jennifer Worthen, a certified personal trainer, says it wakes you up and helps you feel less sluggish. Regular stretching can relieve stiff muscles and creaky joints. However, to reap those benefits, it's important to stretch the correct way. Range of motion exercises include shoulder shrugs, wrist bends, knee lifts, anything that keeps your muscles and joints moving through. You guessed it, full range of motion. Flexibility training is something most people put off when it comes to fitness. Yet the reality is stretching allows you to have improved mobility and it actually helps move lymph fluid through your system and helps keep your joints flexible and lubricated. This means you'll have better range of motion, which translates to more effective workouts. So dynamic stretching is recommended before a workout to increase your body temperature and your flexibility. Time to reach those arms into the sky and touch your toes. <laughs> I, I love that because it's so easy. It's so simple. It's just it's a small little practice to add into your day. And I yes. love that with something like stretching, it gives you that moment to just be present, be there with your body, and then have all of those um, benefits physically as well. Yeah, exactly. You can just pick a, pick a card in, in the morning and it's just a reminder to do something that day. Mm -hmm. You know, all you need is 15 minutes. You don't need an hour um, just to have a little fun, little joy, little stretch. And it just makes you feel better, basically. Mm -hmm. And we have actually divided the um, pack into four. There's the mind, body, heart and soul. So if you really need to concentrate on your mind and slow your mind down or activate your mind, there's that section. There are lots of different cards to do that. And heart connection, um, you know, want to have more connection with the loved ones or even with yourself. Mm -hmm. And the same with your body, you know, we're not all perfect. It's just about eating and, and treating yourself well, really. And then there's the soul. You're inside. Michelle's got a lovely story, actually, about the love to love card. Don't you, Michelle? I do. Let's go into it. Let's hear it. <laughs> All righty then. Um, so I was doing a team building training uh, for a client, and one of the activities was to take 15 minutes during the day, and they were not allowed to use their phones or get on their computers. They couldn't go back to their office. And so some people were really struggling. Like, what are they going to do with that time? Like, they were really you know, 15 minutes seems like an eternity when you don't know what to do with it. And this one gentleman who's an engineer said he was going to write a letter to us, a love letter to his wife. Mm. So he sat down and took the time and wrote a love letter. And I just thought that was so beautiful in and of itself. But the next day he came back to the second day of the training and he shared with us that his wife was not only overwhelmed with joy by getting this love letter, but that she reminded him that he used to write her love letters when they were dating and at the beginning of their marriage. And they'd been married for 20 years. And he said that one simple act, that one simple letter changed their relationship. It put new spark and joy into their 20 year marriage. And I just, every man and woman in the room was like, mm -hmm. oh, I think I might need to write a love letter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, wow. That's, That's so, so incredible. Yeah. And, and 15 minutes seems like a long time when you don't know what to do with it, but 15 minutes is not too long of a time. And just yeah. to dedicate that to some, a small practice that will bring more joy into your life. Yes. And to others, right? Yeah. Like joy is oh. contagious. That's the other thing that we forget is like when we're joyful, that joy spills out and, and, and is, and helps other people feel it, you know? So it's, you're not just doing yourself a, a service of, of good and positive you know, energy, but you're actually spreading it along the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can think about that guy and the joy to his wife, the joy to maybe their family, and then everyone else <laughs> yes. they're going to go touch throughout the day. Yeah. Yeah. You guys talk about stress on your website and most of us are stressed. I think the stat on the website was 75% of Americans experience some kind of physical impact from the stress that they're feeling. How can yeah. having a practice like the joy cards or focusing on these joy gems in our lives, um, make a difference with that stress level. I love, I thank you for asking that. Cause I, I think that's something we all need 
more of right, especially now what's been going on in the world. Uh, the stress and Lalomni touched on this, that, you know, when you are doing a joyful activity, whatever that is for you, you know, joy is different for each person, right? What makes you feel joy may be different than what your neighbor or your friend or loved ones feel. The bottom line though is, is that joy actually changes the chemistry in your brain. It, it actually does release the, the happy hormones, the dopamine, the serotonin, all the good happy hormones. And it lowers the cortisol, like the long of saying, which is the stress hormone. And so the more that we can focus, I mean, and it is meaning like, it's really a choice and a focus to say, I'm going to do one thing today, just one, I'm going to pay attention to those joy gems. I'm going to look for them throughout my day. Even that alone can help bring more of those happy hormones into your brain and release those and allow you to actually physically and mentally feel better. Mm -hmm. That's the power of, of yeah. these joy cards and, and why we're so passionate about it because we really want it. It's, it certainly helped us, you know, personally it's helped us. And it's also helped me and my work and the, and the work that I do with my clients. I, I use a lot of these activities, like I said, and it's helped people tremendously. And so, you know, I, I we would encourage people out there that are listening or watching to start noticing those joy gems for themselves as a way to, to start making that change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, I like to say that joy definitely makes the busy day better. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's, you know, everyone's going to have messy life, something crazy going on. There are mm -hmm. ups and downs in life, no matter what. So you might as well have a few more ups <laughs> added to the downs. I always really? say, let's balance it up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And we're in control of that, Danielle. That's the one thing we can control, right? Like we can control noticing those joy gems. We can pay attention to that. Somebody else can't do that for us. I mean, they might be able to point something out, but if it's, if it's not meaningful to us, <laughs> then we're not going to feel it inside. You know, so really focusing ourselves to look for it helps us shift. Mm -hmm. And there we're not in control of a lot of things that happen in our lives. And so yeah. to be mm -hmm. able to be in control of looking out for those joy gems and the noticing, I think that's huge. I think for yeah. me, I'm in a point where I have you know, a million children, <laughs> not a million. <laughs> I, I have three under the age of 10 and sometimes it does feel like a million and sometimes it can be very overwhelming and dirty literally. Yeah. And you know, all the stuff. Um, but I found that it's easier to get through the days and it's way more fun and loving and the life I want to live. When I notice the things about this part of motherhood that bring me a lot of joy. Yes, yeah, absolutely. The, them finding something out new or their, their big smiles or they're working together or reading a new book or, you know, when you can tune into that, that's where the joy of this part of where I am in life, uh, comes out. Well, and I think yeah, you children, just pointed children. to something. Yeah. That really can relate to so many others out there, it, you know, is being able to turn that around and say, focus on what the what the good is around mm -hmm. being a mother and, and hearing their laughter, you know, or, or whatever it is that, that brings you joy can help tremendously for the stress levels that we're, everybody's feeling. Right oh yeah. Now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's the playful, it's being playful, isn't it? It's having more fun and just being a little lighter really sometimes just changes your mood completely. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I think I could, I could do that with any day. I think about it with the workplace when I was working, there were things, if you can just hone in on the joy, it changes the whole way the day feels. Exactly. Yes. Right. What, yeah. what is joyful action? I, I think it's the expression, right? The expression of something that makes you feel good because mm. when you're feeling good, you can't, you, it's like, we can't help ourselves, but we're immediately going to smile. And by the way, smiles in one of, is one of our joy cards because it literally changes our, again, it brings out those happy hormones and mm -hmm. smiling is contagious as well. That, that expression brings positive energy and immediately makes you feel better. And then that spreads to the next person that you interact with. Mm -hmm. And it is taking action. Joyful action is taking action. It's like making a point of having joy, really. A lot of us feel, you know, we don't have permission or feel guilty because you're just taking time out. 
But the more time you can take out and take care of yourself, the more you can give to others, basically. So Mm -hmm. that is really, really important. Your Mm -hmm. children will totally benefit from the fact that you are, you know, a little lighter and have a better mood, you know. (laughs) Yes, yes. yes. I'm not that way every day. That's for sure. (laughs) Well, no Um, one is, right? No one is, Danielle. I love, um, I love the science behind smiling because it actually, the facial like bones and structure, tell your brain that you're happy. It's like, yes. I'm smiling. Mm-hmm. So there, your brain is like, wow, she's happy right now. I just think that's incredible. Yes. Um, yeah. And they also say, fake it till you make it. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. So you can actually fake a smile and actually feel and release those hormones. Actually. It's really, your body's really. being. Mm. Exactly. Yeah, it doesn't know the difference between a, a real, quote unquote, a genuine smile and a, and a fake one. It's so fascinating. <laughs> um, tell me about, we've talked already kind of about raising joy for people around us and how when we bring joy, that joyful energy into a space that increases the joy other people are feeling as well. Is this what the joy quotient is and how can we raise that for people around us? Mm. Wow. Well, it's, it's having the awareness to start with, right? Like really understanding, oh, I do have a choice, right? I think, I think we don't feel like we have a choice that we can be joyful or that we can look for joy or that we can have joy or that we deserve joy, right? Whatever it is, whatever that conversation is in our brain. So I think the first part of it is just having that awareness, like Lalomni just said, and, and giving ourselves the permission to say that it's our right to be joyful. And the more joy that we experience and feel, the more joy that we spread. And so for the moms out there like yourself and and the dads and and parents and teachers and right, anybody, that that's so powerful. Like if it's one thing that we can do that can actually make a difference. Like we sometimes feel overwhelmed that we can't do anything, that we can't change the stress, the heaviness, or the whatever it is that we're feeling right now. And I think a lot of people are feeling a lot of heaviness for a lot of different reasons. And we can say, wait a minute, I can do one thing today that if it makes me feel better, that joy can help other people feel better too. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely a conscious decision as well, you know, to to take part in in your life, really, (laughs) to actually make your life a little bit better each and every day. Mm-hmm. And therefore the, those around you. Right. Mm-hmm. I love that you guys came together and created this, these cards. And I just absolutely love the art on them. I love the science based practices for each day before I let you guys go. I want to ask you the question I ask all of my guests, which is what is your one tip to finding more joy in the good, the bad, and the in-between? I would say definitely joy has to be a choice. And you can't, you can choose not to, but you can also choose to. And then the more joy you have, the more joy you'll notice. And it just builds and grows. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I absolutely yeah. believe that. I, yeah. And I'd say on that same note, I would just say, look, it's small steps. Stay, take one small step. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be a big, huge uh, leap. And it doesn't have to take an hour. You can do one small thing each day. And each day you'll start to notice that you actually feel better. Mm -hmm. And by you feeling better, you're going to help others feel better. And you can also do it as a family. Like that's another thing for the moms and dads out there. They're like, well, I don't have time for this. (laughs) A lot of people are feeling stressed about that, that you could, you could have your kids doing it as well. And, and what a gift that you would be giving not only to yourself, but to those around you. And I think those, are, those are, again, you, it's in your control. That's something that's in your control. And I think the more we can feel that right now will help us lower our stress levels as well. Yeah, just even it's just talk- long-term, sorry. No, it's no, go. I was going to say long, definitely long-term learning because the more you pass that on to your loved ones, the more they'll learn how to deal with stress and messiness that is part of life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, just as you guys are talking about this and talking about this practice, it almost feels lighter. Like you can feel the Mm -hmm. kind of the exhale of all the stress and the chaos of the day just to 
live in the moment and find those joy gems. I love that. Thank you guys so much for coming on the podcast. I really appreciate your time. Well, thank you so much for having us. We really appreciate it and have a joy filled day. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed hearing from Lalamini and Michelle. You can find all of their information and where you can buy your own joy cards in the show notes. I want to thank you for being here on happiness and progress. Thank you.